I'll be honest, this video is a little bit hard for me to make just because a lot of the times when I'm filming videos, I'm thinking like, what do people want to see? What do they want to come to my channel for? And I like to post happy content and positive content, educational content. And a lot of the times people post really toxic stuff. They talk about gossip, rumors, and that stuff can just really weigh you down negatively. So my space and my page has always been for more positive experiences and positive things just so that you might have an escape from your life that you can come to my channel and know that the content is going to be positive, educational, but the, the reality is is that I have not been feeling positive or confident and I'm really struggling right now mentally and physically and I just thought I would sit down and film a video about it and this is gonna be really hard for me to edit and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of editing out stuff. I just haven't been in the mood to post content the past few weeks because I'm losing Losing my hair due to the psoriasis on my scalp and I'm having trouble sleeping at night my palms are really painful and they get really red and itchy at night and it's just been a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of feeling self-confidence issues which I have struggled with my self-esteem my entire life and it took me a long time to accept myself as I am and how God made me here in the present moment dealing with my Crohn's disease once I had accepted that I found it a lot easier to manage and deal with my Crohn's symptoms and how it was affecting my life. And obviously botanicals and herbs really helped that too because with those, I was able to manage my symptoms a lot easier, feel a little bit better about myself and be able to have more productive days. Having like one chronic health issue and then getting another one, I, I know somebody out there is gonna watch this video and is going to relate to this. And that is my main motivating reason for why I'm filming this video. I was not expecting to also have to deal with psoriasis. And it's hard because I haven't talked to many people about it and how it's been affecting me. I went from washing my hair every three days to washing it once a week just because when I wash my hair, my hair comes out in chunks. Like it just falls out. I've never been one that's been like super attached to my hair. Um, I get the, you know, balayage highlights to it maybe like twice a year and that's basically it. But having these bald patches and having everything red and inflamed and itchy on my scalp has been really frustrating. And maybe you can't tell right now based on the way my hair is just thrown up in a ponytail and the angle of the camera and stuff like that, but I've lost a great deal of hair. I mean, this there's like nothing left in my ponytail at this point. And the bald patches on my scalp, I'll show you guys. There are like huge patches like this all over my scalp and I'm having a difficult time getting in with a doctor right now. In a few weeks, I should hopefully be seeing someone that can help me. So I'm very much looking forward to the month of September for that. But I'm just really frustrated with like, I thought Crohn's disease was the extent of what I was dealing with and having to manage and work through and then another thing the psoriasis and then i was having some extreme lower back pain the past few weeks as well and i i have no idea why i didn't do anything necessarily to hurt it it just had been hurting really badly and i think i'm noticing a correlation with things kind of like i might be waking up one morning with a crohn's flare and then my hands are extra irritated the palms of my hands my scalp might be extra irritated and then I'm also having the lower back pain. So maybe one of you out there knows the correlation between the, the three of those things. And if you do, let me know. I'm assuming it's definitely due to like a very overactive immune system. I just finished a six week protocol taking Qing Dai to help manage my Crohn's disease symptoms. And I will say it has worked really well for that, but has shown no improvement in my psoriasis, which is not what it claims to do, but I was hoping if it truly is an overactive immune system that's causing all of these issues that the Qing Dai would help that. But I'm not, I'm definitely not necessarily seeing that in the way of the psoriasis and the lower back pain. That stuff has only progressively gotten worse. I've tried a lot of things for my scalp and trying different serums, different shampoos and conditioners and different topical treatments to see how I can manage it right now. And it's like, I know when I go to a doctor, they're gonna just slap me on a medication to try to help it. And I, I definitely don't wanna go that route, but it looks like I'm going to have to at this point because it is affecting my day-to-day -day life. It's affecting my quality of sleep and I would do pretty much anything to help it get better at this point. And I hope you can understand where I'm coming from with this content because it's been really hard for me to film content when I am feeling 
really low, really depressed, and just going through the motions of day-to-day -day life at this point just to get through until I can see a doctor. I love and appreciate this community so much, so I just wanted to be open and honest with you. And I always welcome any advice or tips or knowledge that you have that would help serve me in this moment of my life. <laughs> my cat. My cat definitely knows when I'm feeling upset. Anyway, I love you guys and there'll be a new video on Friday. Thank you so much for supporting the Tanical Queens and I'll see you soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.